Hi, David Epps back again. Chick-fil-A Bowl backstage. We're at the Chick-fil-A Bowl Challenge 2013 out at Lake Oconee. Which of the head football coaches in our field would be a financial analyst if he wasn't a head football coach? Which one would be coaching round ball instead of pigskin? And how do head coaches and their wives find a chance to spend quality time together when they have such tough schedules? Well, we ask these guys the questions. We're going to give you the answers. We've been married 42 years, and the whole time we've been around football, um, and, and I love it, and I really am happy with the fact that Nick does include me. Um, he does ask my opinion. He doesn't often take my advice, but at least he does ask. You know, I think the part of coaching I like the best is teaching. So I would like to be involved in something where you could affect other people uh, in some way by teaching them something. And I just don't know exactly what that would be. What I do is participate in the events during football season. When he has Nick at noon, I go. When he has his radio show, I'm in the front table so that I can listen to his answers and, and know what's going on. So while I guess it's like being a parent, it's not the quantity of time, it's the quality of time. It's a busy, kind of hectic lifestyle that you have when you're a coach, which we absolutely love. Um, but when we get time off, you know, we like to go to the lake, have a family place that we all go to that's been kind of a tradition in our family. Uh, and I think that's the most enjoyable thing that we do. I'm sure that, you know, people would like to, some people would like to travel a lot more. But when you travel all the time in your job, you're just hopeful that you can, you know, go someplace and sort of chill out. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's something that we've always looked forward to and really enjoyed. We do love to go there and enjoy the pontoon boat and build a fire. And we were there recently, and even on a rainy day when Nick is watching recruiting films, it's, it's very relaxing and we love being there. We love all kinds of music, um, but we really like to crank it up. So you might see us going by in the car going like this because we do love music and we love playing it in the boat and playing it at the house and playing it in the car, um, all, all sorts of music. Yes, I do feel like a team mom. Uh, as a matter of fact, two weeks ago we had a, a parrot barbecue and um, the wives were introduced and I did get up and tell specifically the moms in the room that well, you know, I, I and the other wives could never take the place of them, but we know that they want somebody on campus that's watching and taking care of their son and if they ever uh, feel like they need to talk to the mom on campus, they can call us anytime and we will do whatever we need to to um, you know, help the player with whatever's going on. I wanted to be an attorney, that was something I thought about, but obviously, uh, and I really enjoy work, working at ESPN. Sunday through Wednesday, he works a lot. He's gone by 6 a.m. and not home until about 10 or 10.30 at night. Thursday is family night and we see the players and all the wives and children. We all go to practice so we get to see our husbands that night. They get to come home early. Friday he's in the hotel with the team. I don't see him until Saturday after the game. So we have one evening together if we have a day game. The big reason I'm down here too is just my daughters and my son. I have two girls that are volleyball players. So just following them around watching them play. People may know this, but most people may not, that the only thing that Urban wants to do for his birthday every year is go to a Jimmy Buffett concert. So every year I have to scout out where's the perfect spot that we can get to on a date that fits with his horrible schedule and we go see Jimmy Buffett.